So if you're having issues with your audio coming through Discord in the voice meter or any other type of source, whether it's lagging or it's distorted or it's choppy, I'm gonna show you a few things to get that corrected and get you some clear audio for your viewers. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Beatwalker and welcome back to another quick video. So today I'm gonna to show you a few things that you can do to get that laggy Discord or choppy Discord audio fixed. I didn't have this issue in the past when I first set this up, but recently when I came back into it, I was having just this choppy audio. I'll give you a sample of that sounds like in a second. But so I went through a few things, went through a few steps, saw a few uh, tips out there, and I was able to gather kind of the best things that should work for you and should get your audio nice and clean. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is right click on the audio tab there, sound settings, go to sound control panel. You're gonna wanna make sure your formats match from your audio interface out to voice meter. So if you go to recording, find your microphone source. So in my case, it's a Rodecaster Pro properties advanced and as you can see it's 24 bit 48,000 hertz this is kind of the default for roadcaster pro i can't change it here so if you have something else where you can select something else feel free to do it uh 44,000 is good to go as well but 48 is what i have so i'm just going to click ok there then go to your playback your voice meter input which you should have already set up and if you didn't see the setup video for this be sure and click it right here and it will get you all set up for voice meter. Right click here, properties, advanced, and you just wanna make sure this one matches. You'll have a lot of options here, but make sure that one matches. You should be good, click okay. And then also make sure you're getting some input here with your test microphone. If you're not, you can restart your computer, restart your audio interface, and then you should have some uh, clear audio coming through. Yeah, so it's not gonna help you, That this is not gonna help you out right away, but it's gonna help you in the future to uh, avoid any issues. All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, but first let me just show you what this sounds like uh, if you're curious. All right, so I'm just gonna test Discord real quick. Mic check, mic check. All right, so as you can see, that is pretty bad and it's something that you would not want your viewers to hear. So the first way you can fix this is if you go to your menu, system settings, and you can change your buffering speed to basically whatever fixes it. So I think the initial buffer speed is set to about 5576. Um, change this one by one, each one of them, and see which one works. Uh, but for me, the only one that worked was 2048. So let me switch those 2048. So as you can see, all of them have to be set to 2448. Um, or you can change the one that you use the most with all of the, your uh, inputs and then make sure this um, 48,000 Hertz matches as well. Close that. I'm gonna test Discord again. Mic check. Mic check. Yeah, so as you can see, that pretty much fixes the problem. The only issue I had with this was now there's a little bit more of an audio delay than there would have before because it's sampling a lot of rates. Um, so in order to avoid that, this last tip is probably is the one that I use right now because I don't want my sample rates to be too high because then it's gonna eat up a lot of CPU power for the mic and everything else. So I'll bring these back down to 1024. Computer needs to relax. So now I have the choppiness again. Mic check. Yeah, so it's pretty bad. So the last thing we're gonna do is search task manager here. You're going to right click run as administrator. Make sure you run as administrator or else you're not going to see this option. Go to details, sort by name here, and you're going to find this audio dg.exe file. Right click on it. 
set priority to high first, change priority, right click on it again, set affinity. So here you're gonna have some CPUs to choose from. Uh, make sure you only choose one CPU. I'm choosing two, depending on how many cores you have. You could try one, you could try two, and, and you know, see which one works for you. So just hit okay there. And okay, I'm gonna test Discord again. Mic check, mic check. So as you can see, that pretty much cleared the issue. And this is what I used ultimately and what, what seemed to work the best without having an audio delay. So those are some of the things you can go through. And hopefully this helps you out. If it did help you out, drop a like on this video, subscribe, and I will be coming up with a lot more different tutorials to help you out with your streaming, with your audio, music, some uh, Ableton stuff coming. So I appreciate the support, the subscriptions, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later, guys. Yeah.